Welcome to MakeOverSession.com. I'm Diane Hanks. In this segment, I wanted to give a little example about how in one same kind of situation, the four different personalities might react to such a thing. Now, I noticed this firsthand when I went into, as a volunteer, four different classrooms, fifth grade classrooms. I was an, a little art teacher and I got to go in to the fifth grade classes and teach a little bit about a special artist and then we would do a special art project. And something happened one time in the classroom and I just was delighted to watch and later reflect on how four similar teachers with completely different personalities, they were all fifth grade teachers, would handle the same situation. And that's how I kind of want to illustrate the whole difference of these personalities. Now, let me lay the scene for you. Let's say the fifth grade kids are going out for recess. And when they come back in, or maybe they're gone for lunch a little bit longer, when they come back in, a huge long trail of ants is discovered. Okay? Big old long trail of ants right there in the classroom. So, there's a lot of ways to react to finding a string of ants, isn't there? Okay, now I'm going to tell you how I could see four different reactions to finding a string of ants. And then let's see if you can figure out which personality is which. Okay? So, the first teacher sees those ants, doesn't miss a beat, goes over, grabs some ant spray, sprays them all, takes care of it, doesn't say a word, they're continuing with their work. Just boom, done, taken care of. Okay? That's one way. Another way, pick up the phone, call the janitor. <sighs> Excuse me, kids, I need to make this phone call. Yes, uh, this is janitor, this is room 53. We have, again, this problem with ants. This should not happen. This room needs to be sprayed every week. We shouldn't get ants complaining about the ants, having somebody else come in and take care of the ants. It's wrong for the ants to be here. Why haven't they been taken care of? Okay, there's another personality, how they handle the ants. Okay, now teacher number three. Teacher number three comes in and sees those ants and says, huh, don't bother them and they won't bother us. Okay, kids, let's get out the other stuff. Does nothing. Okay, now teacher number four comes in and sees the ants. Same situation, but the teacher says, oh my, come here you guys, look at these ants. Look at them, look how busy they are. Would you just look at them? Let's imagine that one right there. What do you think his name is? Where is he going? Where did he come from? Okay, class, we're going to do something a little bit different after lunch today. We're going to do a creative writing assignment. And we're going to write the story of that ant. I want you to give him a name and talk about where he's going and where he came from. Let's find out the journey about that ant. Now, four different personalities, the same scene. Can you see the difference that personalities makes? Now, what does this have to do with makeovers? I'm sure you're wondering. Well, when I talk with a woman, when we do image consulting, or a man, their personality had better be reflected in their wardrobe, in their makeup, in their hair. If it's not, something's wrong. It doesn't feel right. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I had the kind of hair that was completely controlled and austere, that wouldn't be me. It wouldn't look right. If I had the kind of makeup that wasn't quite right for me, 
it wouldn't look right. I wouldn't be true to my real self. That's why if I look in my home, my car, my shoes, all of those things need to reflect my personality. And in the 21st century, we have so many options, so many choices that we are able to reflect who we are in our surroundings, what we choose to surround ourselves with, including our cars. Don't tell me Cinderella's story would be the same if she didn't drive home in her little glass coach or have her fabulous glass slippers or live in her amazing castle. That story wouldn't be the same. The shoes, the car, the home, all of those things reflect who we are. That's the reason why I'm pulling this little segment in today on MakeoverSession.com. I hope you enjoyed that little enlightening segment about the different personalities because it's pretty important as we continue so that we can find the very best way to have your personality reflected in the kind of changes that we're going to make with you. Thank you for joining me today.